I'm going to talk about today the theory of bounce. The first principle is actually moments, defining moments, individual moments, moments that really define who we are. And the second principle I'm going to talk to you about is opportunity, creating and really finding opportunity in everyday life. It was only three and a half years ago I had a major car accident. I was going 104 in the semi-trailer truck was going 102. The doctor said to me, Sam, you'll never be able to walk ever again. Recently I was on national radio and they said, Sam, if you could go back to that place where you had the accident, would you change it? Surely you'd change it. And I said, no, I wouldn't change it. Because this is the person I was meant to be today. We all have these conditions in our life. My condition is a lot more physical. You can see it. But we all have these conditions. Whether or not their relationships, their financial, their problems, their issues, their burdens. I don't know what goes on in your life. I don't know sometimes maybe the trauma that you might feel, the problems, the relationship issues. That you, you know, but it's not about the condition. It's actually about our decision. It's our attitude towards that. You know, recently I was reading about different animals, different animal groups. You know how they have names, right? A group of bees is called a swarm. A group of cattle is called a herd. A group of vultures, you know what a group of vultures is called? A venue. A venue of vultures. A group of buzzards, get this, a group of buzzards is actually called a committee. <laughs> but my favourite out of all the different group of animals, get, get this, is actually a group of rhinos. Now rhinos, they can run over 45 kilometres an hour, but they can only see 9 metres in front of them. So do you know what a group of rhinos is called? A crash. I love that. And if someone comes up to me and says, Sam, I can predict what happens in 10, 20 years' time, I'd call them a liar. The future is there to be created. One thing about the rhino is it can't see in front of them. It doesn't know the, what the future, but it will continue to move forward. It will continue to move forward no matter how many issues, no matter how many barriers, no matter how many adversities, crashes, whatever it might be. Here is a guy backpacking over in Europe. Family tragedy happened back here in Australia, here in Sydney. He jumped on a plane, flew from London through here to Sydney. As he was getting off the plane, everyone else that was on the plane, they have loved ones to greet them, hug them, no one had all come up to him. No one came up to him and hugged him and embraced him. He felt alone, he felt isolated, he felt unloved. Right there he had a decision whether or not he was going to get bitter or whether or not he was going to get better. So what did he do? He went back to his apartment, he got a massive big piece of cardboard. On the piece of cardboard he wrote free hugs on it. He stood in the middle of the mall. At first people were laughing at him, you know, and after a while people came up to him, hugged him and embraced him. Did you know that now that this free hugs campaign is in over 150 different countries? It has been viewed on YouTube over 80 million times. He's been on shows like Oprah Winfrey, David, all from this one moment in his life where he was walking off the plane and he decided not to get bitter but to get better. Where he decided to forget the things of the past and press forward to what lies ahead. Where he decided it wasn't actually his condition, but it was actually his decision. Talk about tenacity. I thought he was great. I loved what he had to say. I thought he was passionate. He moved me. I cried. I thought he was